Now with Dr. Darian, taking a look at some of the questions that our viewers are asking. And here's one from Natasha K. Natasha wants to know, do vaccines have mercury in them? Great question. I love answering questions like this because often that information can disperse and many people don't realize what's the correct answer. Mm -hmm. So just in short and simple, the majority of vaccines do not have mercury in them. The majority of routine vaccinations recommended for children, for example, mercury was eliminated or taken out of them more than 10, 15 years ago. And when I say mercury, I'm talking about a substance that is ethyl mercury. It's not the substance that's associated with mercury poisoning. Mm. Additional information, most Americans are exposed to mercury, not from vaccines, but from food, and most often through seafood. But that level is so minute that you really don't need to be concerned unless you're having more than two to three servings a week. If you're having more than that, you should talk to your doctor about your possible concerns. But still, even with that, it is incredibly low. Your prescription for wellness. Uh, you know, now that we've gotten springtime officially started this week and we got a little mo moment mm -hmm. of summer, we're starting to hear that chorus of sneezing, coughing, and all those allergic symptoms. So today's prescription for wellness are on some basic things that we all can do to keep those symptoms low. Number one, you want to grab the right medications if you're shopping over the counter. You want to look for things like oral antihistamines. And we have decongestants on here, but you want to limit decongestants as much as possible. Paying attention to the labels on them, they can often be associated with rebound symptoms and even interfere with treating your blood pressure. Also short and simple, DeMarco knows this well, saline solutions. Mm -hmm. Rinsing out your nose can be helpful to get rid of those allergens. You should you make it. sure to do it. That you at least watch <laughs> a video <laughs> or do something to teach yourself so you're not drowning in your fitting room like DeMarco. <laughs> and then if you're reaching for nasal sprays, you want to reach for steroid nasal sprays. These are more effective and they're going to be less harmful and, and associated with less, again, rebound. Be careful with decongestants. Pay attention to the label on the box and make sure that you're only using them for a limited amount of time. All right, Doc, thank you. And folks, we would love to hear from you. So please hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions for Dr. Darian at ABC GMA3.